All right, hey y'all, this is John with NoH. I'm going to do a quick video on how to get the lifters apart on a VG30DE engine. It's a Nissan 24 valve engine. It has a hydraulic lifters. They're here underneath the cams. I have one engine here. I'm rebuilding. Lifter ticks on this motor. So I'm taking the lifters apart. There's egg crates here. As I take them apart, each individual lifter gets their parts put back in there. I'm going to try to keep them in the same hole under the cam as possible. Basket. That's going to go into a carburetor parts cleaner. Strap wrench to make it easier. You can use a vise with the jaws opened up. I have a couple old. Uh, Rotors here, separated here. We're going to knock these uh, the guts out of this. Let me get this set up. All right, here's the lifter. What we're going to do? Put it in the strap wrench, and that holds it together. We're going to put our hands underneath there, and we're going to tap this. First, I'm going to get tap it. See how the lifter's dropped down? She's now flush with the thing, and we're going to. See it's coming down, hopefully you can see it. There we go. Here's our body. Alright, down in here. I took a magnet. And this little coin here. There's two little tiny holes in there. On that slot, one there and one there. Two little holes. Now if I put that up to the light and look through it, yeah, see how there's light through there? Some of those when I took them apart, the lights, you couldn't see through it. That was what gets stopped up, causes these not to work. So I'm going to take all my parts, and this is a little telescoping little thing here. This separates. There's a spring in here. The spring just dropped into our bucket. There's a little check ball in here. And we're going to put all these parts in our parts basket and wash them up. There's a hole in that. That's where the cam lobe rides on right here. That's what oils that cam lobe up. Now there's a bunch of oil that's inside the body here. I'm going to set it on a paper towel and let it drain out for a while. See as it's draining out it gets oil on the, gets much of that out. And each of the inner sides, inside guts of the lifters are in their respective holes to match these. This is our passenger side cam. We have another set of 12 lifters for the driver side. We're going to do these all and uh, put them in our basket. Drop them in the cap cleaner. We'll let it set for an hour or two. We're going to start the reassembly after everything is all cleaned up and blown out. These are our main components of our lifters. Here's our main, the body. Okay. Here's your inner telescoping part. That's the bigger part. Here's this smaller one that has the little check ball in it. We have a single spring and then our coin with the uh, the holes in it that allow it to uh, to leak out or to bleed out. Uh, now is the time to make sure that those holes are opened up and I found that a couple of them were kind of stubborn but I did. I took a piece of wire here just stranded wire from your car stripped it back I used one copper strand and that was enough I get in those little holes and I kind of just pushed it through there and kind of cleaned them out some of them some of them were a little little cloudy one of them was stubborn but uh, it wasn't too bad you just had to get all that, that gunk out of there compressed air and our carburetor cleaner did most of it and uh, sometimes it needs a little bit of touch up. I just usually look at them, make sure there's no varnish on. See, there's a little bit of yurch on that one there. Fingernail takes it right off. Anyway, we're going to start invert the base of the inner part. You have to forgive me, I'm doing this upside down with the camera. Put your spring in the bottom, make sure it sets in there real good. I have a little oil can and I'm going to fill it up with some uh, engine oil. 
just a little bit above the spring. My neighbor dog will not stop barking, so forgive me. I'm going to take this this one here, the, the check ball goes down and it goes inside. And what you're going to do is use your small screwdriver. I'm going to reach in there and just depress that just a little bit down and that allows that to sink all the way in. Now, if I release it, the spring pressure pushes it back up and it'll stop. I try to push it back down. It won't go down unless I push the ball and release the pressure. So that tells me that the check ball is working. Okay, we have oil in it. I'm going to put our coin thing in. I'm going to take a look at my damp, oily finger and this just sets on top of here. This is a nice firm workbench piece of wood. I'm going to gently put that down over it. Push it down gently. I found sometimes if I just give it a bump, a bump pushes it up flush and then I'm going to reach underneath here and push it up just a little bit and I heard it click. Our keeper, our keeper keeps it all together and there's one down. Now, do that uh, 24 more times. We'll do it one more time. Spring. Might have to mess with it and get it lined up. Springs in there, add a little bit of oil. Push it down, release it, comes back up, push it down again. I get no movement until I release the little check ball. Okay, we're good. A little coin. Since it's only kept with gravity on it, that's why I'm doing this like that. And there's another one. Okay. Easy peasy. Okay, here's all our lifters, the bodies, and their uh, respective holes. They're cleaned up. Let me pull this one up here. This one is sus suspect to me. No, that's not it. This one is. Let's see if I can get the light in it. We have strange wear patterns on the head of that. Probably looks like there's a line across here some galling going on maybe. I'm not sure I'm going to reuse this lifter. This probably is, should be replaced. Let me see if there's another one here. Yeah, there it is. There's a the center circle there. It's showing some weird Weird patterns, maybe some galling going on. We're gonna, so we got a couple lifters that are bad. Either I'm going to get new lifters or take them out of this other motor and refinish them. This is off of the driver's side head. And these all look pretty good. I didn't see any problems with them. Here's their little bits and pieces all ready to go in the carburetor cleaner in the bucket. And over here... This is all the parts as they came out from the carb cleaner. I blowed them off with air and then I made sure that I had 12 of each of the pieces here so I didn't lose didn't lose anything. And cleaned it up a little bit here. I got some scotch bright pads. This is um, the gray ones equal to about double aught equal to double aught uh, steel wool.